Picking all for the most part, nothing indifferent Sometimes be stuck in my ways, we can fit up in somebody's kitchen Stacking my hand down, chowing with the trips and my few cans do So I walk like Winston, trust me I wake up hanging You hang that I'm leaving this bed, you're kidding I'm sitting on back in the pad, get deep fried And I smoke some plaques of the grass, put the feet up, kick back And relaxing your best, no I'm sticking on Riley's gown Nice, aye bro, so as I was saying, are you coming, I can't? Are you coming, Nick Cunt? Like, come in, is it coming, I can't? I no. I can't. People say coming, ah. You coming, oh, I can't? It's coming, the cunt. Is it always there? I always thought, I, I just think it said, ah, in the middle. What does it mean, mate? You coming in the room? You trying to take a mickey, pal? Oh, sh- Aye, but like, what does it mean literally, if you know what I mean? Oh, like, how does that make any sense, sort of thing? So are you, are you becoming a uh, dafty? Is that what it means? It's like, you know what you're doing, pal. Aye. And I'm calling you. Are you doing this to me? Is it always cunt as well? I will. Are you coming? Oh, coming the fool? I can imagine something like that. You coming the fool? Nah. You come, who would be saying that? Medieval times? Aye. He is coming the fool. Aye, I can <laughs> like see that. Like jesters and shit. Aye. Jesters would have been coming the fools. Jesters are fools, mate. Can I be calling a jester a cunt, mate? <laughs> I'm seeing it that way. I wonder what, what the law. Oh, jester. I wonder, like, what sort of rights jesters had. Oh, subhuman. Why is it aye? Subhuman, of course. Jamie, look it up. Jamie, come on, get some jesters. Jamie, get your house in order. Get it looked up. Because, like, all right, you get your jesters. Get your see jesters every day, mate. Mm-hmm. I see a jester. What doing Bacana Street, bro? Je- full of jesters. <laughs> full of jesters, <laughs> mate. This shit's full of jesters. You ever been doing that garage, mate? It's full of jesters. Yeah, I'm <laughs> gonna, mate. I'm gonna post like a Thomas Selby picture. Like <laughs> this town's full of them, bro. <laughs> Absolutely full of them, mate. But mate, what I've not seen you in a while. I know, mate. What's been happening? We've not been here in a while. It's good to be back. We've not been in the studio in the pad. Hey guys. In the lab, mate. I think we'll whip him something up. Oh, I can feel Do you it. want to tell him about Ming Joe saying like you you crumbed out the window and Kaleo, remember? <laughs> <laughs> Evan was trying to goad me and a what were you trying to get me to do? I just thought be no well, I wasn't I wasn't actively trying, but I just thought it was heavy funny the thought. Of miss calls, not. As soon as you go down to the hotel and Kaleo, mate, out the windy crumb. And would you crumb would you would you just go out the window for the crumb or would you be the whole point of going out the window to crumb um would be then it's don't need to do it no it's just got it's out of your oh it's out of the it's not get rid of your sins quickly mate aye out the window aye where am i going to put this oh. a hotel would be outrageous though if you were set to a story up and all <laughs> Imagine, imagine you up. just seen that flying by, you're like, fucking somebody spat for fucking uh, up there. Nah, that's fucking boggling with the fuck. <laughs> uh, mm. But I, mate, I thought that would be an insane thing to do, That'd mate. be an insane move. Because it's like, we were discussing the sort of logistics of... Crumming? Crumming <laughs> in a hotel room. And I was like, ah, mate, I can't need to just start flinging it out the window, mate. <laughs> Fling, splurge out that window into the car park and that. Because, mate, once it hits the ground, it's fair game, mate. The elements Aye, will take care of it. Whatever. Mother nature. Can just go for it. Imagine you done that, mate, and you went down in the morning and there was a wee baby sitting where you done it, mate. It was like that. It was that a wee mutant? Nah. Looked just like me? Aye. Mini, J- Mini Jamie Kelly. Let's imagine it. Let's bring it to life. Da. What's happening? What the hell? Like, I'd be looking for a bottle like that. Not my business. Close oh, that door. Leave it for the cleaners, bro. Couple of my pals, I think, have got fucking five or six teams that they don't know about. Mate. <laughs> Aye. What? Mate, can you, you imagine? You know, you know who you are Can if you you're imagine listening? having it in your. Can you imagine that being a possibility for you? And like in the back of your head, you're like, I've got like eight wins I don't know about. <laughs> Aye, and like you definitely know they're yours. I like, see, say, say like, um, Russell Brand, he was he's been in the news with a, on that dispatch he's hanging that, but he's obviously like on that they were saying like he used to have like on some days it would be like five lassies and one day would go into the house or wherever they'd be staying in that, so he's obviously got like eighty wins probably. See, no, it's funny. See, where like Russell Brand in that. It's heavy funny how there's like allegations coming out about no fielding as well. Like, oh, is that? I, and it's so funny because. 
sometimes shit is so in front of your face that it's no in front of your face. Like, like, like Jimmy Savile, but if you, so like I seen a clip for like 2005, it's like, remember they would do like the big fat quiz of the year and, aye, that, and it'd be aye. like Russell Brandon, no field, and then it'll, aye. Aye, it'll be like Jimmy, Jimmy Carr would like host it. Aye, and then always. it'd be like other two so other sets of comedians and aye. that, and they'd all be just keep, try to be funny and that. Mate, the way like they two sitting there purely, I mean, Matt, they just aye. looked insane, mate. mate it's like, what the fuck? Mad, right? so this is pure wearing, mad, wearing capes and all that. You're like, I should have known these guys. Those, aye. Aye. But mate, this is so weird, this, right? Because... I obviously used to listen to Russell Brand on the radio mm -hmm. ages ago and like re listen to the podcast hundreds of times and all that. And like, mad shit's happening in it. The, 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 in that thing, when I was watching it, it was like, stuff is happening. I was like, obviously, like, I used to talk about like shagging the fucking like competition winners in the toilet. Like of the BBC, mad shit like that. It would, be, it would be like mad jokes, and it, like you're just like, ah, because you think, Aye. obviously, this kind of thing. It's the same way as well with slow tie, another fucking cunt that's been pure that had the exact same treatment, and it's like you. I used to pure love him and all, but you used to think, mate, he goes about like jumps about on stage and he balkies spitting in birds' mouths. Obviously, that's too somebody that does that. <laughs> Whitney, uh, when you put it like that, <laughs> but like it's like I thought it was just hiding in plain sight. It's like obviously, no, like something that came out. Look at the two of them, Aye. but then it's no, mate. It is. It's just like if somebody's a weirdo, you should probably like look into them a bit. You know what I mean? It's like that Russell Brand is obviously a mad weirdo. Like, see, see, when I seen the mad video that was like, eh. Uh, the mainstream media is trying to, and he's like getting in front of the mad story, obviously. Mm -hmm. It was like the day before, I was like, oh, he's heavy done something, mate. Like, I know, definitely, definitely, I definitely, but do you know what, like, is, is, I don't know if it's weird to me, but it's like, I, I look at things like this, I've no doubt he's done what he's done, 100%, right? Aye. I do find it weird, like, the timing of because am Aye. I right in saying this was all sort of a while ago like oh yeah Aye, 2000 well 2006 I think was mainly it's like that nearly 20 it. years so this has probably been knowledge between people who have released the people but what I'm saying is the people that have got behind this and went to release it I imagine they've known a lot longer well bro no I know what you're going to say and no you're just right the timing no, of things you're right. is just weird because it's mad because in it it's like voiced over and it's like eh uh, it's like uh, like, uh, like a, an actor is saying what like a witness is saying or a, or a victim sorry and they're saying like I went to the Daily Mail in 2011 I went to this at this time I went to like uh, the production company behind right. even no Channel 4 the pers people that were actually in the production which is called Baseljet something it's a Baseljet Industries or something and uh, it was like I went to all these people and every single time we get flung out, like as recently as like 2016 and that and all, when all this other shit was coming out. And you're like, so why did whoever Russell Brand's telling a squash shit, why have they suddenly stopped squashing shit? Who's this benefiting as well? Aye, why, what is the mad surge to be like, this it's needs to be, mate, plus it's, it's weird as well when it's like, is it not like Channel 4? Aye, dispatches on Channel 4. When does, when does like that ever happen? Like, I'm at expose of somebody you know what? out into the open. Mate, I'd, I'd never heard when of dispatches, never heard it, right? And I said to my ma, what is dispatches? And she's like, who are they investigating? And I was like, eh, Russell Branch was like, oh, that'll be brilliant, blah, blah. And I was like, all right. I went and looked up. It's got seasons right back to 1988 or something. It's a mad, mad thing that happens. Like, do you know about this, Jambo? I remember they did one on like Amazon workers and all that. Did they? They go in, they, whenever something like this happens or a topic that they feel needs to be discussed, did they mad documentaries on it? I think, I think they're, Who the, are they? they're the good guys, I think. Who are they? Channel 4. The is that the mob? Because it always says like dispatches is working closely with Channel 4. I think it's a mad vigilante group, bro. Well, it might be, I don't know. I thought it just was Channel 4. Aye, but I don't know. But that uh, that was mad to me when I seen that. It was, it's like, it was like last episode and it was like, as Jamie says, 2018 mm -hmm. or something like they research shit for like a couple of years and then bring out one thing. Oh, I got one bomb. Oppie, Aye, Oppieheimer. Op Oppieheimer, bro. They just came in. The big yeah. one. Boom. There you go, yeah. Trips. Everybody's a pedophile. There you go. <laughs> yeah, if, that's gonna see be... everybody that you've ever seen in a movie, they're a pedophile. Epstein. Here's all the evidence. Epstein one going to hit different, I'm, bro. I, I remember seeing the Tom Hanks one during COVID. I remember like lockdown, I get the video. I, I don't know how I ended up on it. It's not even on YouTube. It's on a mad site called... 
Rumble or something? No, it's like that. It's like something Buddha or oh, something. It's a mad. Ah, right. And um, it's the video explaining why Tom Hanks is a pedo. That's and I remember good, like being pure stoned at my nut. <laughs> obviously, locked down. You're pure. All oh, you're doing is playing COD and going at walks. Oh, I was doing was that and then making videos like pure thing. <laughs> so I was pure. Fuck, man. <laughs> Forrest Gump. <laughs> oh, sure. no go- would they have they? No Gump. Surely not Gump. <laughs> We've not got Gump, have they? I mean, Hinka, what else is he even in? Is he, oh, mate, he's he been passed in. away? Big, is that not a movie? Big? Is Aye, that's when like, a wee guy becomes an adult out of nowhere or something, isn't it? What, the movie, there's a movie Big, there's isn't there? There's a film Big, a 14 year old. I've never seen it. 14 year old turns into like a 40 year old or something, I think. I'm sure that's what happens. In that movie? Jamie. <laughs> did we not ask you to look something Aye, else Where's up? the jesters? He's a fucking jester. Yeah. I did, right? But what the fuck do you want Paul to do that? <laughs> what were we asking? You, you what were the rights? about Jester's rights? <laughs> I want to know about Jester's rights. So you Google Google pull up what are Jester's rights? You give me the keywords to Google right, it. Right, right, I'll tell you the search. Right, okay, go. We need to delegate everything here, man. Wait, so Jest... <laughs> Jester's <laughs> rights. Jester's lawful rights. Lawful as- rights, that's it, aye. And like how long did they live for and how were they viewed in society? Just keys a wee right, I'm not even got to read this, I'm just gonna put it on the screen and use can right, I'll what you read just it. googled. Right, right. <laughs> did you mean Jester's lawful rights? Right, okay. Aye, that's what we did mean. Okay, right, wait, I'll read it. I'll read What's the Jester's privilege law? What? Look open expand that privilege law brief. Yeah, I think we Jester's should... privilege is the ability and right of a jester to talk and mock freely without being punished. Oh, as an acknowledgement of this right, the court jester had symbols de- de- denoting their status and protection under the law. That's what I meant, bro. Mate, this is what I'm saying, but like they, they were like a joke, but right. until that, it's like when somebody, sl- like you're slagging your dad and somebody's like, ah, your dad's a fucking dick. And you're like, wait, hold on now. You can't, I Aye. can say that. You can, it's like that. Aye, it's like, they've got like the past. They've mad, they've got a mad, like they're the bottom of the, look at this, get them in for a laugh and that. Aye. But it, it, like they were like comedians. Mate, I think, do we have Jessel's privilege? Can we have a, I, I think, think that, when we, we when we say eating, it's dodgy. Mm-hmm. We've got Jessel's privilege. Haha, <laughs> we're Jessel's. So, sorry, we can say that. We've got Jester's privilege. Comment. Aye, we do. The ability and right of a jester to talk and mock freely without being punished. Mate, we we that's mm. we've got that locked down, bro. Aye, I'm sure I'm sure we can find well, we can get Lee Sutherland in maybe if it comes to it, we can take him and get him schooled up on Jester's privilege law and he can just go to town <laughs> on the courts. Can you yeah. Can you get punished by law if you are a jester? Depends. <laughs> If you get caught being a <laughs> if you get caught being a jester, Evans then no. It's like every time, every time fucking Lisa Owens explaining a a law, he says depends, and then just says the two scenarios of like whether you get caught or no. Aye, he's like if you get caught doing that illegal thing, then aye, <laughs> yeah, aye, you're, you're fucked. Aye. <laughs> but if you don't, then you're fine. So it's not illegal. Something, something I was talking to Jamba about over at Patreon was. I was driving here. You know the exact road. You know the road with the horses at Blanta? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. The, the horse, horses the horse road. road yeah. Horses row. Yeah. Um, I was driving up there and I came by like, uh, it's like a motorway bridge. Right. And I seen that, mate, I seen an elderly man and he's like, son who's like maybe 40, pure like looking at all the motors and that and being pure. Oh, what? What's that about? And, and I don't know, mate. I don't know. If, I think they might be taking pictures or something. Maybe, maybe count. I was like, what are you up to, man? Maybe taking pics of the motor, taking pics of the air, mate. <laughs> Snap. This is going right in Facebook. Let's get up there, more, son. Yes, Dad. He's a look at that, man. That's a cracker, son. <laughs> we'll get out above the fireplace. <laughs> Would you get a car, son? Oh, oh, that's so a cracker. Can see all the AJ plates clears down everything. <laughs> How'd you do that, son? <laughs> is it, so the motor's gone by, they were stoning on a bridge. Team of them going underneath. It's like a bridge that goes over the motorway. So you, either side of the bridge you can look and it's like you can see the motorway obviously under underneath you. Mm. But they're just pure and they look like they were having the time of their life. And it reminded me of the fucking mind the, the video of the dad and the son at Ibrox when the, the display comes out and it's Aye. the dad and son they pure get off with each other basically. <laughs> yeah, it was like They were getting a bit horny Mates. for being at the M8 together. See the foot bridges over the motorway. Every time I see it, like, when I was driving down to Carl Lizzie by Pizzy, 
I was driving down the M74 and all the all the bridges were getting like Scotland and yes things and that put on them. Was that back? Uh, somebody obviously is trying to bring it back. It just never go away, mate. Every bridge. It will never go away, bro. Every bridge in the way down to England, there was people like with a motor opened the boot and they were like putting mad flags up and that, like different people. It's weird. But also, uh, something embarrassing happened to me with one of the bridges. I always try and acknowledge the person on the bridge if they're like, like there was wee guys who were like 50 on a bridge once, right? And they were like going, and I done that, I was in my big van, I done that, beep, beep, that, and I done that, and then when I looked up, they were both going like that. Oh, no, bro. How sad. Done with the middle finger. I thought it was like the one at Black Hill, I know, I was like, that's a boy. I used to fucking, we used to work on that. You can't get a boot, you know what I mean? Like, there. On a hard shoulder, <laughs> hey man. I used to do all that, just carry on with it, waving and all that. Better not start fighting on that bridge because it's dangerous. Is that, is it stuck off fields there that way? <laughs> How funny is that? You're an old man, Baden. Fucking, <laughs> <laughs> you look like fucking hangy. In the middle of the motorway, like, mate, all, like, people walking through places, like, that they, they, they stayed for years and gone, see all that? <laughs> or are you flat? It's not fields. fields. Used to be fields. <laughs> all the way back, mate. It's the best. All the way. See, all, uh, all of this ruin you, mate. It was fields. Fields. It was all fields, mate. That <laughs> used to just be fields. Yes. As far as I could see, fields, I mate. I would have fucking done it. <laughs> oh, <this laughs> fucking joke. Mate, do you know what, but do you know how I'm getting, like, slightly old now? Because I was driving through Canvas Lang, like, up by like Pubby Park, like, up the mid back roads mm-hmm. a bit. And that was cause like where Pubby is, it's quite it's quite a woodland area. Oh, yes. You know what I mean? So it was like it was all fields, mate. It was fucking all fields. <laughs> it was all fields and then there's be. there's flats and that now and I'm like, you fucking bastard. Oh no, that's you fucking fuck. bastard. So I was out the window. <laughs> <laughs> fuck up <laughs> Stop! I'm mate, gonna come back here and chain myself. I've done a naked protest. Mate, imagine <laughs> imagine you shading yourself with the fields <laughs> naked. <laughs> Do you know I'm chaining yourself in the grass? I do have all that. I'm here to soak canvas like that, mate. You don't have one, bro. Mate, do you know what's mad? See see up at the see up in Hamilton, right? Mm-hmm. Do you know the bit in Hamilton that's got the wee tiny bit you need to drive through sometimes? It's like I'm mad. <laughs> it's the things that are I forget what they're called, but the road goes tiny, it's gone there a wee bridge and it goes so small, so you need to slow right down and like you're that away for each side. No, I'm talking about the one of the roads. You never encountered one of the roads? I know what you're talking about. I just don't know what roads oh, you're talking about. Right. Anyway, so it's doing the, uh, like, the industrial bit and that, but a boy I know stays right up on the hills there. Used to all be fields. Now they're all houses, right? Oh, Literally fuck. brand new. Like brand new houses. And he stays in one, mate. And he's like, mate, it's the fucking worst thing I've ever done, mate. I fucking hate up here. It's a big, like, four bedroom brief. But then, like, see all the people in the street. They've all got big signs outside the windies. I might have told you this. Saying, like, do not buy an Avant Homes. It's mouldy, damp, horrible. Mate. They won't talk to us, not. And apparently that, see... That would be better off fields. Mate, that's, I'm glad you said that. That is what I heard is happening. If they, my ma told me, she's like, all oh, the houses are getting flooded because it's like so close to like, <laughs> she's like, they're all getting flooded. Right. You feel so much more. Ma's, Ma's, Ma's pure love that shit. Oh, like, mate. see all the new builds up there? They're all ruined. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> no, I mean, they mate, feel love on it. I know, because once we were in a mad old house that was heavy, beautiful. Like, but it was a pure lovely house, but it was quite old and quite like Beautiful. big high ceilings and that. But it was not it was stunning, mate. Don't you give me it was a townhouse, stunning, right? And I was like, ah, it's my mind after it. Like, how do you know go for like, like I was a bit younger, but I was like, how do you know go for gas like that? You're always trying to get mad new bills, not and she's like, they're for do you know, do you know, no, none of their heatings works and they're all for spiders, not <laughs> she'd always try and like bring the other thing aye, down. Aye. You know what I mean, what you want is three tiny rooms, hundreds of them. But- <laughs> <laughs> the roasting, roasting Ooh. tiny wee rooms. Sixteen <laughs> we pay for thin walls. Cu- a thousand cupboards, mate. That's what I want in my house. Just all sorts of cupboards, mate. Jink, Nine cupboards. Bro, jank, jank. You could put hundreds of cupboards together and then they're just living that. I think that's legal, mate. Mate, you get nineteen cupboards <laughs> all in a square. <laughs> no call the walls in, mate. What you go a gaff. <laughs> Where you go, I gaff. What are you, property developer? I'm moving at my ma's next week. I've just bought 19 cupboards. <laughs> Mate, entrepreneurs, hello, dragons. Uh, what we are doing is obviously every cunt pure can't afford a gaff, right? So we've got all sorts of mad cupboards that we're just going to let make a gaff. Our analytics show it will take 19 per gaff. Aye. We've got at least 
I, I det. Nej, vi kan det är Guds skugga här för det. Nu med Guds skugga här för det. Vi ska ha oss. Vi har Wiles. Mate, see, speaking of solving the, the world's problems, mm-hmm. I had this thought the day, right? Now, like, they're trying to get people to go with, like, electric cars and they're trying to make people, mm-hmm. oh, like, don't use the car, use the train and, like, trying to edge right. people because the roads are so, like, congested and shit, traffic. Uh-huh. Imagine the government just came on fucking the telly. Mind, like, lockdown announcements. Uh-huh. They came on and said, at the end of this month, nobody will uh, be allowed to set a driving test. Nay, cunt, mate, mad, like, I... No, nay, cunt, for this day, if you can't drive by this day, you can never drive. So then when we all die, we name drivers? Aye, mate. Aye. They just ed- you learn, learn how to live without. What well, do you think the world would be like, mate? Do you think it would be pure? There would be tribes in that again in about f- f- two weeks. I think we might, I think we might thrive, mate. They need to. We need everything removed for us, mate. That's like what I was got to say about the gaff. What about lorries for that, transport and shit? Mate, what I was got to say about the gaffs that mm. are getting flooded. That's Mother Nature going, get to fuck. Aye. Get to fuck. Oh, heater. Take that, we piss. There <laughs> you go, you fucking bams. Building there, my fucking land. <laughs> fucking mad balking floors. Take that, you fucking... Do you think God's got a big wallop on me? A big belter? Mate, don't never, never speak about God like that in front of me ever no. again, mate. No, I'm all into that. Mate, do you know what? Like, now when people say, took God's name in vain, aye. do you know what that means? Like, literally, know what it means in... Aye, aye. Do well, you, I don't do know, you know what the it means, definition? literally. So, it's, it's like, I used to think it was like, oh, Jesus Christ, when you were raging at something. Or like, God damn it. When you're aye, raging. like just using the word. Aye, but it's all it is is using the word when you're not praying. Right, doing, doing aye, and that's what in vain means, like aye. without praying almost. I didn't know that. Right. In vain just means doing something superfluously. Doing something that doesn't need to be done. Doing something that's no going to, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, Have you ever heard the saying, an effort in vain? Nah. That's a saying, like if you did something that was pointless, you'd say, oh, that was an effort in vain. Oh, aye, you would say like, aye, he done that, but sadly it was in vain because aye. they still lost 3-1. <laughs> <laughs> Can I imagine that? Perfect, mate. mate. Listen, I should be on that, man. Should be, I mean, do you think I'd be a good Gordon Dunkey? I think so. Do you think I could take over for Dunkey Donuts? You're good at it. Do you think so I could be a good... Clubs and, you, and you just... Discussing for football that. Hey, what, what were we talking about? I'm I was talking about how like, <laughs> Derek fucking Ferguson and that, they always say like, because you know what I mean by this. Players what I play. Look, Si. Players what I play. And that's it. And it's a simple lo- thing of players want to go and play football. It's in the name. Uh, you're a player. You're going to want to be playing. <laughs> He's going to be moving this summer, aren't he? What do players do? They, they want to play. Aye. But if you're if you're a player, number one thing priority in your life, playing. <laughs> Nothing else comes before that. Know your wife, know your ways, <laughs> know your addictions. Nothing. Playing. Playing football. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, they all just say that, like, my g- general terms, that you're, you're like, well, obviously. Aye, it's, uh, me, it's me, me, me up your hard hit, mate, mate. We'll get for your strong opinions. We might start a football podcast on Patreon. Mate, a football podcast would do they well. would fly, bro. Mate, why don't we start? Two, two why guys. don't we just start a mad Polish league podcast, mate? Just be quirky. Just be get into the Polish league. We could be, I mean, me and you could become famous Twitter guys through scouting mad players in leagues, not. I just all poles, mate. All the Polarks. Just take over Poland. I, I'd love to annex Poland. You are really getting like Hitler, bro. <laughs> I'd love it. I would love it. I love it if we annex Poland. Push if we got a Paul, I'll fuck you, love it. <laughs> Mate, could you? I was thinking about this all day, bro, and I just, I consider myself quite, I'm quite a confident young man. I think I could, okay, okay I'll go and pick up a prescription on my own. Ooh. I'll do things like that, of course. Uh-huh. But do you think, maybe you've done this, and I'm defo no judging. I wish, I wish I, I wish I had the gumption for this. Could you, like, go up to the fort and just batter in Ann Summers and be like, ah, here? I, I'm getting my bottom of my ring. Yeah, I obviously. I don't think I could, mate. I'd be embarrassed, I think. Well, what? Ann Summers what? is near the. What one's like. Is Victoria Secret the good gene? Aye. Ann Summers is the mad bogan ho- one. Ann Summers is the pure horny one. No, I wouldn't go into the horny place. Uh, mate, I'm going to go into Ann Summers and be like, ah, give me the sexiest thing you've got. See something that pure would <laughs> fucking just make all of heavy sexy. I'm looking to get something really sexy to get the day. Guys, I'm looking to get as hard as humanly possible. <laughs> Have you got something for me, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine getting in there and just like planting it on just like that. I want you to dig out the sexiest thing you... In your opinion, the sexiest thing. <laughs> and you judge it. 
below my mind today. Well, I mean, no, it'd be at even like funnier. 2 p.m. at the fort or something <laughs> like a Tuesday. No, no, it'd be even funnier. Rock bro. my world. If both of us went in with a clipboard for the things that we had to get to the shopping list. Just like the, uh, the that fucking strap on. <laughs> Do out. you have a... I'll just give you this. Bring me a big box of them. <laughs> I didn't know that was a horny one. I thought that was, I mean, I've, do you know what? I don't think I've ever been in the shops, but I wouldn't mind doing it. Every time, like, I, I, every time I walk by, I think of it like, imagine I just stood in there and there was, now the way you, now the way you, like, now the way you walk about JD and like, flick through things, but imagine those pure flick through the eyes. <laughs> imagine, like, now you'd go up and pick up a pair of trees like that. Aye. I'm just going up and get a lad. Big fucking that glitter on that. Yeah, get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> is it like what about sex shit? With it, did it wear sales like where see see if I wanted to go right now and go and get me some fucking extra long anal beads. Mm-hmm. Where would I be gone? And summies. Is I it? Think, I think so. Is it? Look, yeah. Could yeah, you? But, could you do that? Could I fuck? Nah, nah. no. I mean, actually, I've got something for you to look up because I spoke to you about this the other day, and I was like, "Oh fuck, I forgot to bring it on the podcast." Can you look up that mad la- fastest fucking land vehicle uh, to uh, show everything? Uh, it's so funny, mate. Do you know what the fastest land vehicle is, mate? Yeah. No vehicle. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched the animal there. I had to feel think back. I've just looked it up and Summer's Day sells sex toys and all that. Uh, oh, well, well, well. I think it's mad that she's walking about somewhere called Ann Summers. I might just start walking about them in my pocket. Just what? beads in that. Beads in that. Whip them out. <laughs> Go with name, by the way. Just <laughs> put them back. <laughs> Mate, I would r- see if you r- showed me, them a bit. If you showed me anal beads out of your pocket, I would think they were a weapon before I would think they were anal beads. Do you know what you I mean? You'd think they were like a mad thing that's going to pure. I, oh, Martin, like, no, I thought they would be like you'd hit. Is that not like something you would hit with somebody with? I like one of the mad things. Maybe Aye. they are anal beads. Maybe that's all that ever was. Maybe it was People just. People were d- hiding them. Do you think it was the servants down in the servants' quarters where all the, the tools for hitting people are? Do you think they go a bit freaky? Uh, maybe they fucking planted them on their bum one day. Right, what's this land view? Right, look at this fucking like, thing, right? It's like an owl. Right, this is, I mean, it, go, it went 700 miles an hour. Is there a video? It went, aye, there's a video, right? But I just want to tell you, go, find the video channel, but look at that. See when I looked that up, the next word was for hire, question mark. As if, like, I couldn't feel what to pull up in it, mate. <laughs> the other search was like, uh, what's it called again? Whatever it is, fans it's called classic. the Thrust SSC. The Where thrust. are the guys for? Andy Green and Richard Lope. They're both OBEs, which just for oh. building. For build. Do you think that's purely off the back of that bastard there? I mean, look at it. <laughs> look at the state of me. But see, like, somebody looking up the price of that, I was just imagining, like, who in their right mind would ever want to buy that. Aye. Like, so ah, I could be doing with that. It looks fucking massive. Imagine mate. bouncing down the show. Where bro. would you even keep that? <laughs> imagine bouncing down the show with it. Right. Try to park me across a couple of spaces and that. Get the video up, but it looks fucking mental. I'm waiting on an ad and then I've got it. Sound. What are you waiting on ads for? Don't wait for no ad. What have you waiting on an ad? Oh, you had the premi? I do, but I have to use a, like, a private tab for stuff. Oh. oh. Secret boy. Mm, don't like that, mate. Secretive boy. <laughs> when, <laughs> when have you been most secretive? What, 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 <laughs> el- what, what else have you got hidden in all the tabs? Oh, here we go. 15th October 1997. Very close to, to I was born. What that, mate? What the fuck, bro? 1997, mate, that bastard's gone that fast. That was the Sonic. Did you hear it late? It's gone fast. I think the audio's the coming out of that, isn't it? Aye, it is, Aye. Faster than the speed of eye over the sound barrier. <laughs> 750 mile an hour it went. What? What's that? At this point, Mate, there's a threshold where you don't even deserve to be on land anymore. Get yourself in the sky. Aye, mate. Jump. Go, spread your wings. <laughs> Jump. Go and spread mate, your wings, mate. You... That's so... No, that's seriously so good. 750 miles an hour. You spread should, your wings. You should be getting up there. You spread, should shoot for the stars. Spread literally. your goddamn wings. <laughs> mate, do you think that's the only vehicle in the world that you could put both your horns at each window and do that and it would actually make you fly? A chance, yeah. I bet that could. If md has got there, it's the thrust SSC, mate. Fuck man. But I somebody wanting to hire that made me laugh for ages, bro. That's a, for hire? Aye. What would you even be doing with that? I know. That's what I was thinking. There's no practicalities to that. There's no one road in the world that's suited to that. I had to go to the desert to drive it. I, that's probably like the only time that's ever been driven, but mm. ever. Know what I mean? Mm-hmm. 
Aye, just one and done, just to get the record in the bag, then up the road. Mate, there's a mad film. Do you think we could do a record like that? Mate, there's a film that's about somebody going for a record like that, and it's called The Indian, The Fastest Indian, or something it's called. And it's this guy's from fucking New Zealand or something, but he goes there to America, he get take part in the wee peewee races, like the, no peewee, but the wee motorbikes, mm -hmm. and like man-made motorbikes and that. And he's gone, everybody's slagging him, and he's like, this is raced all around Australia and New Zealand and that. And he goes, that's a real guy, mate, for like the 80s. And he goes, beats every cunt there, sir. Yeah, that's some film, that. <laughs> so it is, honestly. Maybe he's in that wee thing, mate. Mate, look up, look up the race, the final race from the Indian, the fastest Indian, and watch that, mate. That's good. Intent. That's like, he's on ice and that, so he can go faster. So I think he's the fastest. He's on, how, how, wait, so he, how, did, how is he on ice? He's went the fastest anybody's ever went on two wheels ever. And it won't ever be beat because all the mad regulations and that are in now. He pure went on ice and done mad shit, know what I mean? To get the record. <laughs> mate, do he you was know, just trying to go as fast as humanly possible, Evan. If you don't understand that, then. Wait, see, um, one of our mutual friends who's in Holland for a rave there. Oh. I'm talking about <laughs> uh, <laughs> And he was saying he was fucking out his banger and he bumped into these mad no he pierced crawled back to his tent. Get in the tent, he was actual out his nut. Like, I don't know why I can't remember what they'd been taking and he was just surrounded by these Norwegian cunts camping and they're like, Hey bro, you okay now? We thought you were a goner there and like then they pure got him up and they're like, You take kit? And he was <laughs> like, I fuck it, I I'm fucking <laughs> fu I'm fucked now, I might as well go for it. He says he took some, then he fucking crawled back in his tent like was absolutely gone for like 45 minutes came crawling back out and they're like oh there he's there and they were talking to him and they were saying just to like relate to this they were saying that in norway booze is so dear that like they can't they just need to take drugs like they can't even afford booze but what they do is hi there's different laws for the land to the water in norway so they hire boats out and then go out and get fucking absolutely out their nut and come back and like i think they do get like fined or something when they come back but it's like works out worth it because you can do it and you want in the water because there's this maritime law of it oh mate they're on that they're on the high seas mate they're high on the high sea law mate oh mate i would love that i think we should go to norway have you been in norway before? no iceland mate, that sounds like your perfect holiday mate on, in, in the water just uh, right, get okay, in a boat we've, got, we've got the race we've got the race right so we realised that it's probably we'd started watching it and then we're like hmm we're watching a film movie <laughs> on a fucking podcast probably going to get copyrighted yeah. so sorry about that I mean you, you it was, missed it was, was alright it was quite shy <laughs> <It, yeah, laughs> now that way when you say to somebody oh see that's my film put that on <laughs> uh, the scene's never as good as you remember it you're like Oh, that I like. It's bad when you're watching it and like the best bit happens and the, the cunts no even reacting. You're like, well, yeah, uh, this is fucked. I. <laughs> the best one of them is when the thing I've said to you before about when I pure like MF Doom, but when I talk, when I show some the MF Doom song, see the mad bit that's like, look, there's Doom now. Aye, oh, the mad I'm gonna get you that. Like, that always goes on for ages. I'm just sitting like. I like no, no. It's just it's just thought, it's just get this one and next one, then it starts halfway. No, man. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake, man. Aye. It drags on. But anyway, bro, sorry. We're I'm here not... to talk about something trips. We're here to talk about MSN. <laughs> so uh, not even just MSN, we're talking like glory days of like the internet, I would say. It's when, we've too, I think we've went too far now. It's not even fun anymore, actually. No? Nah, I don't think, think so. think it started going backwards? Nah, I mean, it's fun. It's always going to be fun. But it gets there was fun. something... Maybe it's because I was younger. Mm -hmm. You're just like the glory of the computer room, bro. Mind we'll talk about the computer I, room. I, I, when people had like their computer in a room, just like, <laughs> oh, he's, he's sitting up there in that computer room. I saw it. Mate, my my granny still got a computer room. That is a granny. And I love day. sitting. My in granny the had room. that computer room as well. Did she? Aye. And did you used to love just sitting bashing shit on that? Mate, I would have done anything on a computer when I was a wee guy. Mm -hmm. Just to it, use the computer aye. was like click of uh, open. Remember, like just going and paint and being like. I paint was the fucking shit. Speaking about paint, sorry, I'm no pure derail. I don't want to pure derail as well. Go talk about MSN. Did you just know know how the Big Les show? While I was doing Call Lizzie, I watched every bit of it, right? I watched every single thing there is to do with Big Les show. I heavy love it. Did you just know that was animated on MS Paint on a mad school laptop? You can kind of see that, I think, but like, I, you can't, but I didn't know. I wouldn't have known just that. Just one wee school guy wrote, voiced, and fucking d animated it, like drew one and then drew another one and screenshotted them all and made these episodes and then it ended up getting a horn like later on. But it's got a mad overarching theme. It's like a pure good 
cartoon. Did you know that? I thought Aye. it was all just. I had only ever it's seen. No, just nonsensical. Yet. But out of context, it's so funny that you would think it is that. Not I me. Mean? Aye. But I've Aye. never sat down and properly watched them all. Should there's hundreds of Scottish cunts in it. There's a Scottish cunt called the the Warning Man or something, and he's like, "Hey there, you!" <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a mad the King of the Universe is called King Laranox. Scottish people are Scottish always guy. pure angry people in movies. King Laranox is a big angry ginger guy. Exactly. Like he's, he's the stereotypical angry Scotsman. Is, is that a thing? Aye. Angry Scotsman's definitely thing. Aye. But anyway, Groundskeeper right, fucking Willie. We were talking about MS Paint. We were talking about like how me I used to go into the calculator and I used to bash solitaire, mate. Just I used to some. bash solitaire, <laughs> didn't know what I was doing. I'd just click. Aye, you'll here. just you would like try and drag the cards into the right row and it wouldn't go and you'd be like, eh, right, try that one. As soon as you get one, mate, because it's like you had to count down. I don't I still don't even know how to play that game. <laughs> it was like you had to go backwards with the cards. Aye. This was like this what we we're trying to say here is like Peak entertainment when we were wee guys. What age were you? We're talking like actual young then, like five. Pure, no, no, five. A bit Seven. older than five. You weren't the, you weren't in the comp at five years old. I know you're always trying to be the wonder kid, bro. It is always trying. Eh, five. <laughs> what, did we, were we I don't think you were on a computer at five, bro. Mate, you'd have been like ten. Aye, ten. Mate, what, five. No, that would have been two thousand and seven, two thousand and eight. Mate, I was doing more than that in two thousand one. You were doing nothing, bro. Mate, I was. You were I was fucking picking your computer. nose. Neat, I used to bounce to the computer back when I was about three. Used to jump on the computer. Three year old. <laughs> he goes up on this computer. It's a baby. No, aye. Maybe eight then, nine, ten, something like that. Aye. We were wee guys. Aye. So that was like peak entertainment for us, like playing with wee things like that. And you have never been as entertained. Yeah. Do you remember Marble Blast? Did you ever play that? What was that again? Marble again. Blast was one it was always on like when the school had MacBooks and it was literally just you with a marble trying to get through like a total window. Oh, aye, 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 I've class. seen that. Ah, yeah, actually. Yeah, I used to bash cool maths games in the house. Cool now. maths game. Mate, there was a there was a game that I used to play back then called like it was like a dirt bike. Do you, do you know what I'm talking aye, about? Aye. I feel like, do you know, feel like my plagues of games came through the schools. like every cunt's playing this now. Like in computing, you'd be like hiding your hanging playing aye. it and all that. Mate, there New was, Star Soccer. There was, uh, aye. Star, mate, jump, I, jump. I played New Star Soccer last year and I was pure pain for better boots and all that <laughs> on my phone. Mate, I was pain for like the swerve and all that, like oh. so I could hit it and be like that. But I was playing for Zelic and I had been world player of the year like 20 seasons in a row and I just used to call Jamie Kelly and I just used to sit and do it. And they like, that was my pastime, bro. Right. New Star Soccer <laughs> up up until 2022. Since ditched it. Mate, what about Jumpers for Goalpost? Jumpers for Cope. Mate, do you, Did know you ever you, play that? Do you know, no. Do you know I played oh. that last year or no, right? Coincidentally, I played that last year and it was fucking, it was like Jumpers for Goalpost 5. There's like new ones, like FIFA's, mate. So Jumpers for Goalpost 5 is like pure up to date. Do you know I played that like no too long ago? Like, like I don't know why. I don't know what my situation was at this point in my life. I was like, now's the time to go into jumpers <laughs> for goalposts again. Aye. So I remember doing it and like, you pure get a bird and that. She's always pure, come on a date with me. Aye, and sure. you're like, ah, fuck off. And she always looks like, down, fucking... down to the boozer. She down like, to the club. It's like, <laughs> you play for like, jilling them. Mate, like, so fuck off. She's always angry, I know. She always just pops up and it pops up with a cartoon face like, I and you're like, like her saying like take me on holiday <laughs> where are you I haven't heard from you in weeks you're like fuck off man yeah, so balling out of control you used to get with the boys mate so you used to get with the fucking boys and jumpers for goals oh. and it was like hit the club uh, go for a movie some nights I would go for a movie with Prozzy the <laughs> they've added that in Prozzy <laughs> then it comes out in the paper the next day and all that you get Aye, caught with it there's tabloids and that to deal with but then you can like hush it down by paying cunts I pay cunts after that <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's intricate now it's <laughs> getting there these were the MSN days these mm -hmm. times and it's like fucking for us talking about it it's like nostalgic isn't it mm -hmm. it is mate so I when we were talking about this was near like prior planned that much right but when we were talking about doing this i was like why does this make me so happy and like what is like nostalgia and i was like thinking i was thinking about it for a while and then i ended up doing a wee bit of research in it mate so can i can i enlighten you on it just before we go i'd love to know about nostalgia so, mate, see the word i'm a big fan of nostalgia <laughs> can't you get enough of this stuff mate, mate. If you could ball it Oh, oh mate, come on! Yeah, fucking million. That's better. Th that's a better idea than our fucking cupboard gaffs, mate. mate. But see, when it first was coined in 1688, that fucking that. 1688, it was coined, mate, and it was it was viewed as a medical disorder, and it came for the words I forget what no. I think AI. Sorry, so nosta meaning home in Greek, and algia meaning 
pain or sickness. So that's why a lot of things are like algae. So it'd be like, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. Algae is after things. After things that are ailments. Like algae. Oh, aye, aye, aye. Do you know aye, what I mean? Aye. It's like, so it was an ailment and soldiers used to be sent home because they came down with a terrible bout of nostalgia. Oh my goodness. He used to be absolutely fucking reeking an nostalgia. Sitting like, that. oh man, no. So he needs to get up the road. He's experiencing nostalgia. He needs to get up the road, bro. Mate, I love how like back in the day it was like mad basic phenomenon. Like, oh, <laughs> like you were, like it was mad simple shit, and they're like, get them out of here, man. They're like, what? Wait, you you're thinking about dying? What <laughs> the fuck are you talking about, mate? Get him out of here. They, they go to, and get killed. Used you know? to burn women for reading books. Nah, like, oh, what? What's, What's a you, witch, mate? What the fuck are you doing, then? <laughs> mate? Back in the day was a horrible time. That's all I have to say, but. Speaking of that kind of time period, mate, n- see nostalgic feelings. That that's actually an evolutionary thing that we feel, and we're naturally ex- selected to feel it as it helps align the things you've learned in the past. So it's like, oh, see, because we're a mad linear being, but like memories on there, we nostalgia helps us like place things. Mate, that but makes total sense, man. That made me ask the question. As the ph- the philosopher that I am, mate, I asked the question. How do, we just, how do we not just feel nostalgia constantly then? If it's so advantageous for our memories to be aligned, how is it not just like, how do we, I not get nostalgic for the way I walked in and the way you said, you're fucking late. <laughs> I can imagine you did. No, but, uh, like, how do you not get nostalgic for like your dinner last night and that? I'll tell you why. The lifespan retrieval curve. Oh, that old thing. Look it up, Jamie. <laughs> that was it. So the lifespan <laughs> retrieval curve, it's called. Um, th- it's this thing that's like a mad study. Are you looking it up? <laughs> that's the I don't know you actually that, wanted me. Aye, please. Mate. You say it that much that he's like, say it one thing. the boy who cried <laughs> fucking pull it up, Jamie. <laughs> what was it called? It's called the lifespan retrieval curve. Fucking read a book, bro. But also, aye, so the lifespan retrieval curve is this mad thing that was... Oh, fuck, I'll just, I'll just let it wait for the thing to come up. I knew I would butcher it. Is, uh, and, uh, is this hang, mate? I knew I would. This crazy hang. So, see that point there, right? So that's number of memories, and that's age at encoding. So this is when your memories are encoded. See that peak there, the red one, just at 20? Just 20, after 20, like 21, sort of. Aye, uh, that's called your reminiscence bump. So see when you hit that age, on average... Humans will get bad bouts of nostalgia. Oh, because we, we, that mate, is true, mate. As soon when as I was like 22 and that, I was like, that's pure better in 2014. Mate, mate, see, when you're like 18 and that, you're never thinking, how good was being 12? You're like, thank fuck I'm no 12. As soon as you hit 20, but I then it's all hitting like, how good was it being like when we were at school and that? Like, it's as soon aye, as school ends, mate. Aye, and then you don't see anybody anywhere and you're like, Mind we were all just in the big one place <laughs> and we just all had to like be we together. All had the best times. Bro. I was like thinking how insane. See, when I worked in a school, I was like, how insane is this that we're like <laughs> just? I mean, there's no other option really Aye. to educate people. I mean, I don't think so anyway. But like on a mass level, like that. But see, just flinging cunts into <laughs> like all these people for all these backgrounds into one place and being like just like no. No wonder there's always fights and there's Aye. like tensions are so like, high in our school. Mate, see, the more I'm learning about everything in the world, the more I'm learning that like every country's just pure winging shit. Aye. Like the government, like even up, like that every seems level, like a nobody knows anything. Mate. Like, that seems like something that you would say if you were like, right, when he like start educating Wayne's, mate, just build one big building, right, and we'll just fling them all in there. Who's got to teach them? But right. You eight cunts, you teach that thousand, you know what I mean? It is a pure backwards thing. Because it's like... 35 wins in a classroom, bro. But humans have always had to be like... I don't know. But this is what, this is what pure fasc- fascinates me about ancient civilizations. Like, the it white, always comes to ancient civilizations. Anything... <laughs> mate, see if that question hang on TikTok was how often do you think about ancient civilizations? Oh. Every day, mate. Every it's no even. Day. It's genuinely never one day without thinking about some sort of ancient civilization. Uh, well, with, with that TikTok thing, the re- like I was thinking about, like, why do you think about that every day, mate? The Romans were the 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 very first civil engineers, mate. They started this. Who thinks the best? Who's the go ancient civilization? 
Rome, bro? I don't know. I like you Egyptians. Like, you like Egyptians? What's the Gobla Teke, bro? Gobekli Teke. Go, no, Gobekli Teke. No, that was fucking. That was, they don't, I don't even think they, they know, know who. It's that think. old. They don't know. I think. I'm sure. That I don't. Um, what were you saying? You loved about ancient civilizations, anyway. Sorry. Um, I was saying. What was I saying? What were we talking about? We were talking about. Um, why do you think about the Roman Empire so much? No, no, no. no it it wasn't about them. It was it about. Was aye, aye. Sorry. So, like, say we're saying we've got our ways of like. This is how you educate all these people, and this is how you do this, and this, and we've only got one way of doing it. Where we've discovered. There is an actual zero doubt that there's so many things that they had all the same elements as us, right? Mm-hmm. I think it's safe to say. The same land we've got, like all this shit, but they figured out how to do things. At, like they've just like went round the back of things and figured out how to do this other way Aye. or like a better way. Like obviously, obviously the Egyptians have a better way than us at moving large rocks without like machinery. Do you know what I mean? To make the fucking pyramid. So, like, they, they were, it was so long ago, yeah, they could come up with these ways that we've still not even figured it. Aye. Because the people say it's pulleys and that, but that's, has that been disproven? Hasn't it? I think, mate, the last thing I seen about it was like, they figured out it was like, they used like vibrations or something. Because, like, mate. every, every, everything that you can conceive, has a like vibration, I think, so, something like that. Like aye. every, every it's, so, it's all, all you are is atoms buzzing left aye. and right. So like you can always like make something vibrate at a certain point. So they figured out how to manoeuvre heavy things by like manipulating the vibrations under it and moving it about like that or something. Aye, something like that. that like they that makes mad. Sense to me. I, it, it? It, but that's what I'm saying. It makes sense in such a way that we've not even really we've went right. We need we need things bigger than us to lift them. I but we've no thought about like how can we manipulate that? that that's what I mean about like our, the way our society's in my head the way I think about it is like it has just been flung up as I said like it is just like right, the first thing comes to your head mm-hmm. right, how do we move that? Uh, just like, get something that does that and lifts it up like that just like a horn would use it you know what I mean? Aye. Like, like just everything's it and then aye there's other things like that as well like uh, like we've made wars and all that it's like how we solve this? can kill the wall. We'll, we'll just, just kill the wall. We'll go there and just get rid of them. But we've been doing that since we since we it's started. It's a dawn of time, bro. But anyway, look troops, we did ask you. Now we'll go into some MSN memories, some Bebo times. But we're gonna read yours first. We asked you to send them in stories back in the day. I think I've read maybe one f- complete. Mm-hmm. So I because I wanted to just read them and React Aye. live, I like so idea, mate. we don't even know what's c- c- happening to it. So I'm going to—I didn't ask anybody if they wanted to be anonymous or no. So I'm just going to make everybody anonymous. Just Aye, probably best. Trips. The podcast is brought to you by G4 Claims. If you're involved in a road accident that was not your fault, call G4 Claims on 01698 767 172 or visit them at notatfaultclaim.com. The process is completely free and you could keep 100% of your compensation. Troops, if you want more episodes of Riley's Gaff, head over to patreon.com forward slash Riley's Gaff. We have the £3 tier which gives you access to the extended part of each normal episode where we normally save all the hot action for. We also have the £5 tier which gives you all the extended episodes a bonus episode each month and access to the Discord chat. The £10 tier gives you all of the above, but you get two bonus episodes a month and 10% off merch. And the last tier, the daddy, the goat tier as it's called, is £20 a month and you get everything and anything you would ever want. You get to request episodes, you're a mod on Discord, so your name's a fancy colour and everything, oh my god. You get shout outs in any episodes, if you want a wee birthday shout out, whatever. Whatever you can think of, and we can do, we will do it. And on top of that, you get 20% off merch. How sweet is that? So if you've already joined, thank you so much. And if you haven't, what are you waiting for? Patreon.com forward slash Riley's Gaff. So Trips, we have the first story. It's not really a story, this one. It's actually just a re- wee reminder. But when I seen this, I was like, oh my days. <laughs> so 
fan pics when birds would write a DJ's name on their body and take a picture of themselves pouting. I swear a mad guy from EK called DJ Sween Dog had an actual full scale fanny picture and a bird wrote his DJ name on a bit of paper. He had it as his display picture for ages. <laughs> <laughs> mate, mind, mind game. Him, mate. Oh, that's why fan pics are called fan pics, aren't mate, they? The original Scuddy. Mate, because... No, but I would like see Scuddies. I just call all Scuddies fan picks. I I don't anymore. I'm mad, like I bet we we went a good mate. There was an overlap of like stuff that wasn't fan picks and stuff that was like nudes, and we were just still calling them fan picks because fan picks were like you wrote your name because mm-hmm. like you're a fan of them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Is it that? But buds, mate, buds used to like send them like mad horny. Like wasn't he just a mad? You know what I'm? Do you know aye. what I'm talking about? Like people, you would get them in that. Aye, I have. Did you get a couple of fan picks back today? I've got. I've, I, had, I think I had at least DOS, bro. I had DOS fan picks. Aye, aye, both boobies, one both with, hot boobs, one with brow on. Mate, so I was a bit annoyed about. You know what I remembered then um, when I was thinking about fan picks and that, mate. Would you get fan picks, but <laughs> aye, aye, hundreds of them. A DOS here. <laughs> Still got more saved, mate. Got them in the house. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> I've got him on a hard drive oh, under, under oh, the oh. <laughs> But at the time, I was that. It, I was free. <laughs> Keep me and I was a young boy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's memories. I got him on digitized <laughs> and that. It, but anyway. mediocre podcaster Evan Riley has been jailed. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the full dossier up my loft. Not my mother's law. <laughs> We get them out and we'll look at them. Oh, Christmas and that, it's good to have a flick through, you know. Uh, flick through the fan picks <laughs> of New Year's night. Aye, but mate, mate, no, I remember, but see, when I was a youngster, I was, mate, I was a bit hot back in the day, a wee oh. bit. When I was a young man, I'd, mm. mate, maybe I had a lower percentage of body fat and... Mm. Yeah, good looking. Mate, boy. I had the wee six pack in the go, mate. Oh, did you? A skinny pack, so that. I a skinny pack. It was mate. not definitely a six pack for you doing any hard mate. work. It was like your body fat's just that low. You're like, I'm so built. Mate, I, I seen like a, a picture of me when I was in Australia and I was actually like that, bro. Like, I used to be so skinny, right? But I was like on the beach and I was like standing like that or something. And I, me, my, t- my taps half, and it's like I actual look ripped as fuck. Aye, but aye. Pure Wisney. Do you know what I mean? Like, I was thinking back to that, and I was like, I just used to no eat, mate. Aye. Like, ever. And I was pure on the beach. <laughs> I tried to act solid. Mate, and it's aye. so mad how far away I'm for that now, mate. Like, see, see, when I look down and tense on my belly, I just get depressed, <laughs> mate. Like, I used to, like, go out. Be proud of it. Like, there used to be wee bumps everywhere, mate. mate. And it was just. <laughs> I, I used to go like an athlete. It's like a fucking shopping bag. Mate, I, rem- I remember fucking potatoes in it. I was battling into a bird, mate, and I was like, ah, no, no, it'll be so hot for her right now. I think we're all getting a bit sexy, mate. And I remember going, she's like, what are you up to? I was like, just a bit of rip some sit ups in my room. Oh. Know what I done, yes, bro? Brother, what? Obviously, recorded the set sit ups, bro. <laughs> Saying them, mate, rip, fucking ripping setups in the room, bro. I like she's got a fucking lot. So is the phone like in between your like feet, say, and you're going? Uh, me, I, I, I think I set it up at like the end of the end of the bed or something. I was like ripping setups, bro. This one's for you. you. Like, see, see when you came up and seen her, you like, hey, babe, <laughs> fifty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was I just started recording at ninety nine, <laughs> day three. I mean, she, she fell in love with us, I thought. Of course, mate. Of mate, course. I remember late as well. Like, I remember. I used to do day setups, but see, when I was like 10 and that, I used to sit and batter setups. Hey, mate. Mate, I used to love <laughs> doing my CrossFit in my room, mate, when I was like 11. So it's like. <laughs> we're doing push so, up, we're doing one push up. So ripped. <sighs> mate, see, 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 hang back and all, see, because I was so ripped. Mate, um, I, I remember, like, I remember those I'm mad. I can remember their names still, right? Like, la- uh-huh. he's playing footsie. <laughs> um, I remember there'd be like the mad hot lassies for like England <laughs> and that that would add and be like, hey, babe, and that. Yeah. On MSN, of course. Ah, yeah. They'd add and be like, pure. Hey, like, but and you would be looking at the picture you're like she's fucking banging, bro. <laughs> and then they would be like, "Pure, I'll send you mid hot pick. I'll send you hot pick." And I was like, mm, "Well, don't mind if I do, you know." <laughs> Can't and, say no to that. And then I'd be like, "Pure." she'd be like can I see your like body or something and then I remember like sending them pure like a mad picture like pure and then she think no I'm like that was definitely a mad middle aged guy oh you 100% you could, mate you could see that mate I hope he had a good gin to it anyway aye I hope you look good I, I hope he at least had a good time at it I, I hope he 
get rid of these urges for another few days at least, bro. Aye. I think you could take the urges out of pedophile, mate. A young, <laughs> imagine like 15 year old Devin, mate. The Fucking golden boy. Pack, no, sending pictures to you if you want to go, mate, you'd be sorted. You're going to be crumbing in second, bro. No chance you're going to last with that. Crumb mate. city, bro. At, le- at least hope he enjoyed his cell bit, but because yeah, it was go- it's gone new, but. But what a terrible man. Aye. How did they get the pictures of the woman and all? That's what I'm always wondering. Right, How's he just getting these? They're sneaky, mate. But anyway, but mate, have we got another tale? So we've got stories as well here, so. Some tales? I'm going to go back to the start here, because that was the last one I read it first. You something just up, down it, man. Back to front. Right, so. So this one is. So it was like 3 p.m., had nothing to eat. Was just getting on it with my two pals, Lexi and Chelsea, and I had a full bottle of cactus to myself. Cactus Jacks. Oh, oh cactus dear. Cactus a good beverage. And they split a 70 CL, and we ended up seeing this lassie we didn't like. She was getting cheeky over phone, so we saw her, and we were steaming. So we basically started on her. This is like somebody just admitting to jumping somebody <laughs> mad with it. Um, we st- so basically, we started on her, fair just admitting it. And then more people came to back us up <laughs> what this is really, this is are you sure you want to admit this and then she wasn't getting cheeky this is just getting sad now right. she wasn't getting cheeky then one of my pals sienna poor poor wee bit of bev over her head <laughs> <laughs> pulled a wee bit of bevy over her head we bumped her vape then this lassie that was coming for Irvin wanted to hit her so we got told not to hit her unless she was there the lassie eventually got there and the lassie shot herself her boyfriend was crying on the phone to his stepdad and his stepdad came and grabbed the lassie and drove away. Mate. Is this like an admission to like a crime or they something? They thought they were messaging the police, I think. But mate, so that was nothing to do with MSN. So what was the actual... Mo- Aye. Wait, did she know this was about MSN? <laughs> I don't think so. And people in that. Well, there we just get... Mate, admit- also it's a good vapes. S- vapes. It- <laughs> the vapes are new. Like that, that must have been like in the last five years. <laughs> this is why we do it live, people. So I that was a good that was story. An amazing it was story. a good story. After your just pal, w- uh, somebody else pulled a wee bit of drink on her head. That was a good was little a nice bit touch. of embarrassment. Aye, aye. I like that. It's good bullying. Right, we're gonna go back to MSN and that here. So this is actually something else that's no MSN or Bebo. One time, so I'm not gonna read the name actually. One time, me and my friends were on this person's form spring. Do you remember what that was? No. Remember that. I think it was like something that you could send you could send an anonymous message to like somebody's account and it would come up and they'd just like read it and reply to it or whatever or, do you know what I mean like it was just like an anonymous I, you would have you would have an like account a mad Q&A version of that Ask Animal. FM Ask FM right. so I think it's something like that so I'll read it out again, sorry. One time me and my friends were on this person's form spring sending her pure, unadulterated abuse and then realised that we forgot to tick the box that made the questions anonymous. We were so stoned, the only thing we could have done is laugh. Yeah. Imagine that going to rip somebody and be like, you're a fucking absolute... Imagine like the mad... I'm glad your uncle died last week. Imagine... I don't I, I imagine like a mad cunt in your school, you just pure hated, but he was mental and you're like, this is the one way I can get back at him. You're like, you're a fucking dicky, a boy, honestly, will fucking slap you about any time not right? you saying that and you've realised it's not an anonymous. You're like, oh, oh man, no. Be like, Do you know, the adult version of that's like saying, sending an email to somebody and saying, see attached blah 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 and then no attach in the file mm-hmm. as soon as you send that you go oh fuck I forgot about that oh, yeah. they're, they're, not, they're think I'm going to know how things in order they're going to think I'm an idiot I've, no, I've got my house in order why is it seeming like I've got my house in order how funny is I'm the, Jamie Kelly no Jamie Wood how funny is the how funny is the follow up order Hey, order my talk about the follow up mail you send you're like oh oh sorry what about that you're so bastard. honest you need to address it bro you, oh my head's right up my arse today I, oh I'm <laughs> such a fucking idiot honestly please but, accept my apology but I mate see see on like um, do you remember Ask, Ask FM, FM and so I. see Ask FM there was a lassie who was like um, at another school sort of like in our area and uh, she made one and how you could like Obviously, there's a box to go anonymous or no anonymous. Aye. So cunts were obviously getting pure. Like, all them had hot birds were getting pure. I fancy you, but would be so scared to talk to you in <laughs> class. Aye. I'll give you clue. I'm an English boy. <laughs> like, all that shit. And, and then, so people would be posting shit like that. But then there was this lassie who, we went on an account one day, and it was like, oh, this mad 
pure, you are fucking stunning and all that, right? And then there was one that says, your ass is actual banging. And she had forgot to do the, the, the tick to make it anonymous and it was hard, mate. That is like the ultimate, you were going to get ripped for that. Is she like, do you know the thing about that? Do you know the, that, the thing about that? It's a crime that you can't even deny because it's like, it's not like you can say, oh no, I was somebody else. Like, do you know what I mean? It's, it's like, like murdering somebody and just writing your name on you've them. you signed your name in the death warrant, mate. Aye, it was me. There yeah, you go. There There's, you go, mate. Yeah, aye. I think I have most healthy arse in school. <laughs> but wait, yeah. I mean, she should have owned it. She should have been like, no, what? I fucking day think I've my arse I was just telling myself that's daily affirmations, she bro. She got ripped for that. But I'll move on to the... Was that relentless? That? I can imagine that being a bit relentless. Do you remember anything about Ask FM? Any stories? Yeah, uh, I don't, nah. I don't in particular. I remember having a good old time on it. Do you admit, what were you, were you, were you, were you posting any love uh, interest? Like pure, um, I am ripped, you skinny boy, Jim Carrey. <laughs> no, I was, um, no, on that, I used to comment on all the birds ones, I Saying what? Just like, you're pure healthy in that. If I think you're pure healthy or you're pure stinking. Pure you're pure. stinking? <laughs> yeah, you're a nasty that. piece of work, James. No, I would never do that. Never you're even stinking? Object, I mean, I've never objectified a female in my, in my goddamn life. No. Never once, mate. But aye, I used to have fun on that thing, mate. I used to get I was you talk about yourself being quite a good looking boy when you were younger, mate. I've cut for the same cloth. Aye. Uh, I used to get I used to get all the birds. Can on I I used to fucking actually do damage on Ask FM, mate. I was one of the boy versions of the birds that were getting on that. Aye. Aye. Birds fit everywhere, bro. Aye, all, well, all, over, all over Scotland. Well, oh. that. Well, well, that. <laughs> what is the mad country? Well, well, that again, is that. Liechtenstein or something? Oh, that. No, I don't hate. I don't hate anybody, mate. I, I don't you hate the Latvians? I have not got room in my heart for hate, but the, the one Latvian I met, he was reeking a bo. So that's all I've got to. That's all. That's my case study there, mate. That's fine. But the anchor Latvians, smelly. The one, not not all of them. The one I've met was reeking. <laughs> For you, a hundred percent smelly. There you go. But let's move on to the next one. So, this one's. I think this is the juicy one. Aye, this is massive, right? This is this is a huge, huge story. I got set up on MSN before. Nay, joke, bro. Because <laughs> of one of my supposed pals was a wee bitch. Oh, oh shit! Don't like it's about to go down, mate. Don't so he says, true, bitch. true story here, mate. <clears throat> I was in high school and I ended up in a gaff with my pal, and he ended up banging a wee bud, and I ended up banging our pal. <laughs> Class. <laughs> Went to school feeling like the almighty of cause I'm swimming in a sea full of virgins showing off I got my hole like a gold medal at the Special Olympics. So I get into school and I'm telling my best pal who sits be behind me what happened, not mentioning my hombre who got his hole after other bird's name. I mentioned the bird he shag's name. In the lassie I sit next to and copied after the full time I was in modern studies. Remember that? L little did I know, had just been dumped by her boyfriend who dumped her for the lassie my pal shagged, if that makes sense. Ooh. Aye. This is very... This is becoming a bit of a sexual it, drama. This is convoluted. Is this Killing Eve? Season so, 6 or something? So the lassie overhears the name of the bird my pal shagged and goes, who did she shag? And instantly I'm like, can I tell you because it's my pal and you don't snitch on your pals. True. Good man. And she was on me like a Bergos up the Moon nightclub in Glasgow City Centre back in 2005. Oh. Very specific. <laughs> yeah, I like that. So anyway, she kept asking me who it was all day and I wouldn't tell her. Later that night, her ex-boyfriend, who she's clearly <coughs> went and told and who's currently going out with the lassie, my mate's just pummeled in a spare room, calls me and goes, who shagged my bird being all pally? <laughs> and I was like, fuck this cunt, I don't know him. Then he starts threatening me, saying if I don't tell him, he's coming to my door. And while this is happening, I'm calling my shite bag of a pal, you know who you are. I think that's, he's sending a message to the pal for listening to this, you know who you are. Uh, you would know if this was you by this story, wouldn't uh, you? Of course, it's very specific. You know who you are. 
telling him, mate, this lassie's boyfriend's going to kill you. He's begging me not to tell him it was him. And me being the gold pal that I am, I just said to the guy who was threatening me, come to my door then because I wasn't scared of him. He's inviting danger. Oh, I like this guy, mate. So a few weeks go by and nothing comes of it at all. I'm sitting in my room chilling, stoned out my nut, just done a bucket. <laughs> Room's like a Cypress Hill concert and I'm on MSN talking to wee birds making PC DJ tunes. And then this boy I know messages. I know him, but I don't know him that well. Turns out he's the bird. He's the bird, my pal, Shag's pa- boyfriend's pal. Oh, fuck, fuck this dude. <laughs> I'm so confused. I wish mate. we established names. Man. Aye, <laughs> names would have been so handy. He's, he's messaging like, all right, bro, how's you? What you up to the night? And I'm that age where lessons haven't come yet. And I'm like, fuck all, bro. Chilling in my gaff, just doing the usuals. Ruin my bit. Every cunt knows where I stay, so I'm talking. And the next thing, I can hear a Subaru drive up and I drive up my street. Door opens and boom, window gets put in. I was sitting in my room, heavy destruction. Like a scene fake Dragon Ball Z, smoke and fuck and glass everywhere. My dad comes in raging, goes nuts. Sees all this gang shit I'm done with it. <laughs> <laughs> all this gang shit. All this. Oh, see all that. It goes, comes in nuts and goes. See all this gang shit. I'm done with. This was well before gang shit was gang shit. Fucking. I mean, two packs like this. <laughs> Fucking was fuck all today with gang shit. It was shape bag shit. <laughs> Mate, that's kind of a fucking good novelist, man. <laughs> shape bag shit. Shape bag shit is unbelievable, mate. It's, that not, shit. Today, it's not today with gang shit. It's fucking shape bag shit. It's shape bag shit. It's totally different, now. Get <laughs> fucking out. The two things are so different, though. Gang shit and shape bag shit. They're like the opposite. So he's about to get done in here, basically. So he says, but anyhow, next morning my window's taped up. My dad wakes me up and, and goes, get up. And I was cheeky and he threw me at the gaff and nothing but my boxers. Boxers now lacoste. Tracky <laughs> comes flying out, hits me on the head and he goes, you're out, throws a farm foods bag at me. I walked from my gaff to the guy who smashed my window gaff with that farm foods bag on God, picking up every brick I seen on the way. Got to the guy's house and fucking lit the place up, man. I was like a Wayne for Johnson in a house. A mirrors armed with stones. <laughs> Smashed all his back windows. Then I had these cunts heavy looking for me. But every cunt I knew was papped out because of it. And the cunt was raging, shouting, he's going to kill me. His windows getting replaced. Came to thousands of pounds worth of damage. And I was howling because mine was a single glazer and Schneider. And it was like 70 bucks to fit. I ended up staying with my gran after that. And the guy still to this day doesn't know who shagged his bird and still do, still to this day hasn't caught me. <laughs> As if I give a fuck anyhow, I won big time. <laughs> <laughs> this, <couldn't sell> me. <laughs> this guy's unreal. But worst of it, or oh, is years later I'm on Facebook chilling, dusty settled long ago on this window wall. I'm sitting with my wee girls, Godfather, God rest his soul, and we're looking on Facebook, and who do we see? Ultimate shite bag who begged me not to tell this cunt he shagged his bird in the pictures of some dancing with the guy. He shagged his bird and then came to me for answers. I've lied to him for him. <laughs> and I end up getting my windows panned for it. Joke, man. That That's was it, man. fucking mental, mate. That was a fucking roller coaster ride. I like that. So basically, like somebody's boyfriend got somebody's girlfriend got shagged, mm-hmm. and they wanted to know who it was, and they wouldn't tell him. And he's held on to it. He's held on to that full time. Go took the windows, getting Even panned in that. that that's podcast. a that's a gat, mate. That guy's a gangster. That guy. Is that's gang straight. Shit. That's mm, you can't get any more gang shit than that. Can't get any less shite bag shit than that. Aye, bro. that's the least shite bag shit I've ever heard. Zero percent shite bag shit for a boy. Mate, um, I like that, but I like the use of MSN as a fucking a gang uh, uh, for a. A vehicle for gang shit. Aye. Mate, tell me where he is and now I'm coming to your door. Mate, I love that shit, mate. Cause mate, all- MSN was full of that because it was like, it was like the one programme on your computer. It wasn't like you went on the internet and went on it. You could, I think, couldn't you? Mm-hmm. Mate, do you ever remember being on holidays, a wee guy and going to the wee internet cafes and going to MSN being like pure, all the birds are talking to you, like, I'm on holiday now looking pure tanned or not. Mate, I remember <laughs> sitting in, like, do you remember hotels used to have computers? 
all just in the aye, lobby aye. and you'd go in and stick three quid mate, in the I've, computer for an hour and that. Mate, I fell in love in their places, I used mate. to go down and bash Halo, mate, for some reason. I was, I mean, I was bashing Halo once. Mate, I fell hard. You just like that, mate. Halo. <laughs> it was like Halo, original Halo was on, like, and you paid for it, mate. Like, you're actually putting mm-hmm. pounds into an Xbox or something. Do you play it? It was fucking <laughs> unreal, mate. Bang it day, mate. Aye, this next one's funny, man. Let's so, hear it, bro. Um, he's asked me to keep him anonymous, which is so funny when you hear this story, why he still wants to be anonymous, <laughs> right? So, MSN, sorry for you, keep it anonymous, eh? My older cousin left her MSN logged in on the computer in my house, and I noticed it and just started slating a lassie on it. She's from Ayrshire, so I never even knew the, who the lassie was that I was slagging, but my cousin got leathered a week later and had no idea why. <laughs> That's so funny, mate. Just getting on somebody else's thing and just pure slagging. Fuck it, I'm at la- I know. Is he a lassie? It like so. His cousin's been on his gaff, left her MSN open, and he's oh, been on. Right. Aye, and then he's been on and just been like fucking. Aye, fucking slaughtering fuck any cunt. First cunt, like you are fucking ugly as you fuck. Fat, ugly bitch. And then she gets leveled for it. She probably still doesn't know. Maybe she knows now though. Maybe she should probably. She probably does know now. Mm. I, and I think if she's listening to this podcast, she'll be like. I'm sure I got a mad random doing. She'll when I was probably 15. know exactly who it is. Ah, uh, she will. You maybe, maybe been caught. Maybe we've solved the solved the mystery of the beatdown, mate. What lassies actually go for it? No, mate. Lassies did actually used to go for it. Did lassies ever used to fight? Like when you were out and about, or when you're a wee guy, mate. They can actually fucking just pure swing each other a bit. I hate, I hate watching lassies fighting. Unless it's UFC, I can watch. But like, see, like mad hair pulling out. You're like, oh shit. I like a bit. Of, I like a bit of fucking like. See when you see like. <laughs> That this guy messed with the wrong McDonald's employee. Aye. Mad black glass in America. And she's like, what'd you say? Bang, 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 bang. And the guy, it's a mad white guy. And he's pure, <laughs> they always pure for funny in that. They always pure, ooh. <laughs> and it's just a mad lassie. Like, not today, not. Imagine, but imagine talking that, like, whatever they were saying to them. Like, imagine talking that crazy. That pure mm. shite bag shit, mate. Uh, that pure, is talking shit. that crazy and then no being able to do a single thing. No. You know what I mean? Just being like, oh, <laughs> just getting, just getting, back getting about. whacked about. Mate, that shite Bag shit, meat gang shit. That's what that is. Mm-hmm. Aye, they don't they don't bode well together, mate. Aye. So next one. So, <laughs> there was many that last story, but I'm even going to go into it. Actually, I just seen that the no the the mental Aye. one. I just seen merit there. <laughs> um, so. Uh, me and my pal used to meet people off MSN all the time. We were only 14, 15, and we hung about with these older guys because they had a car. Creeps. But we <laughs> wanted to go see other boys in Easter House and got them to drive us up. And they came into the gaff, and we had to convince them that other boys were our cousins and convince the boys the creeps were our uncles. <gasps> so they had to kid on oh. the, the famous ten- ten- Tennessee switcheroo. Oh, aye, they had to play the old Tennessee switcheroo. The old one too. He's just my uncle. No, he just grabs my ass Playing them both, mate, against each other. That's no, weird. Mate. What a laugh we had. The game was up after we were all drunk and they fucked off and left us there. Came back and picked us up in the morning, though. That is pure creepy shit, mate. That, that, mate, that used to ha- shit, I feel like that probably still happens, but I feel like that ha- As soon as like somebody when you were that age, so- the, the first person you knew that was sort of in a social circle with you that had a motor, like people just flocked to them, bro. I know, mate. Like, wait, so you can just go in the motor yourself, that? Right. And just drive about. But no, but that's sound. But then the hang that gets weird is when the cunt's 27 and they're still like, I'll give you a lift up. Turn, turning up at the school and that. I'll give you a lift up. Mate, do you know I used to think that's pure weird thinking about that? I used to think, I used to hang about up the Venture. Aye. Up uh, by Mullock. There's a Venture in Toe Cross as well, but I won't get any of that now because oh, it's uh, a fucking shit. Episode that's on. <laughs> Aye. So we used to hang about up the Venture up by Mullock and I used to walk all the way home. But it was always pushing and all that. And I used to always see every motor that drove by. I was like, I wish one of these cunts would pick me up. Like, I wish they would just stop and be like, where you going, pal? Pick me up and take me home. And I <laughs> remember saying to myself, see, when I start driving, I'm definitely going to heavy pick all the wee guys up and that. Like, <laughs> give them all on. Like, if I ever see a wee guy walking up, I'd be like, me, you want to lift up the road? And I was like, that was fine in my head until I became a guy that dro- drives. Yeah. And then I've, I've still... Maybe not as much now, but when I first started driving, I would see like a wee guy with like a jacket and he'd like that running in the rain. I'd be like, 
oh man, I mean, I say that would stop for concert, but I just can't. I'm sorry, wee man. Like, do you, I can't. It's do you, impossible. Do you know what? I, I always think like the same way with that jump ins. I was like, see, see, when you're waiting for a jump in, when you're a wee guy, you're like, see, since I'm here, I'm just gonna come down here and just fucking see who wants one. I'll go about asking wee guys. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, you want a jump in? Then you like get to like 22 and that, and you see a wee guy looking for a jump in, you're like, <laughs> Obviously not. Fuck mate, off. Mate. Wh- wh- have you, do you know by the jump ins? No. I get jump ins for Because I've been scarred with the jump in process. Remember the story I told about somebody that got us a jump in? I don't remember. So, me and, me and Pagey were still on their halfway shops, we were waiting for a jump in, an obscene amount of time, bro, right? Uh-huh. Like, from lit, from dusk till dawn, bro. <laughs> and from dawn back till dusk. Oh. A long time. Yeah. So, we're standing, mate, and then this kind of. This boy, we both sort of knew. Well, I think he went to school, or whatever. But he was older. He's a mid older, can't feel halfway. He bounced around, and we're like, "He might get us this man." So we went up to him. We're like, "Ah, what's happened, bro? You get us a jump in." We'd been out for so long, and he's like, "Aye, what you want?" And we're like, "Fucking <laughs> yes, man!" <laughs> Actual all day, mate. So he, so we tell him what we want. He goes in, and he, he's like, ah, "Walk in the corner, and I'll geez it." And we're like, "Right, sound." So we walk in the corner, geezes the two bags, and we're like. Cheers, man, fucking ideal, right? So we're buzzing. Literally, a second later when he walks back around the corner, mate, I'm, I'm unmarked Paul's motor, pulls in, pulls him round, takes her booze off us and uh, gives him a grand fine. Oh, mate, that is a... <laughs> and I was like, there's no wee guy in this earth I'd take a grand fine for. I Unless it's like a relation. I, I mean, I'll, st- who, I'll What st- did this guy do? Did stop my fucking, cousins up with booze, mate. Did this guy fucking, like, go to, go to your, your, your parents or something? No. Demand the grand. I mean, no. I'd be demanding the grand. He wasn't that kind of guy. Two wee guys, mate. See if two wee guys got me a grand fine. I'd hold them up to the ears. Oh, I'd yeah. shake them upside down. You've got 48 hours <laughs> to get me a grand. Imagine how. Ma- see, when you're a wee guy, imagine somebody done that to you just randomly. Yeah. See, you two, right? You've not done anything. But you two have got 48 hours to get me a grand. Mate, I'm thinking about this like a, a, a film, mate. Aye. Well, a proper film. You, you've been stung. You've had a grand fine. You were buying a wee guy booze. He was buying booze to go with all his pals, not buying a big lot of booze, not. That's the start of the film. He's buying this big lot of booze. You go in and buy it for him. You get stung. You tell him, what do you say? You've got 48 hours to get me a grand. You have 40 hours, buddy. Dum dum. And a wee guy's just like, oh. But what would you, how would me and you as wee guys, like, say it, say, say it like 14, 15, us as wee guys, how would we make money to. To get so this mad kid, and I imagine this guy's got like a BMW, and we're like, he means business. He's got a BMW. Got There's no BMW, way this isn't a, a, a completely yeah, serious thing. Selling snouts. Sorry. Aye. <laughs> selling snouts a good one. I could sell setup videos. Oh, you tell sell guys. Setup videos tell guys, and just ab video, ab just cr- just general just, ab videos. Ab stuff. You do no, you do. You just sit in your room with your tap off and have content for pedos, right? Mm-hmm. That's your job. Ten or a pop. Hey. I'll I'll go and wash motors. <laughs> good I'll hard go, graft. Go and wash motors. Uh, walk dogs, things like that. I'll just I'll do hunters a wee things for a fact. I'll just run about all day, mate. Run about the fall of Springburn, just washing windies. Hey, how hilarious would it be if I pulled into a mad like w- car wash and you were walking around just seeing you with the wellies and that a mad vest on. See, I've got the wadgy pull it and it's fucking uh, yeah, just yeah, a mad yeah. dodgiest gluten country you've ever seen in your life and you're pure. <laughs> Spraying <laughs> shit in it. I was like, what are you, what are you doing, Jamie? Mate? mate, you've just reminded me of something that I've been wanting to tell you in the podcast for ages. I went to a fucking, I went to a car wash one time and see that mad mental guy, the, this guy you're talking about, the main guy, it's like out of five on that. Aye. He had a fucking tattoo of a Lacoste badge on his neck. <laughs> I swear to God, it said Lacoste under it and that. And it was a wee alligator and it looked like it was stitched. Oh my god! On his neck, bro, and he was just sitting there washing the van. I was looking him. I think I actually tried to take a picture, and I was like, "No, take a picture of this, dude." That is hardcore as fuck. It's the fucking most gang shit I've ever. That's no shite bag shit. No, that is not shite bag shit, mate. It's man shit, mate. Right, mate. On to the next one. So, trips. This next one is from friend of the show, Big Miz. Miz, what's happening, brother? I love you. 
there was a mad bud called Katie on MSN that had everyone added and was always trying to meet cunts for her hole, but always had the most sus pictures and we were all convinced it was an old pedo guy. Always wanted to meet him slash her to test the theory, but always shat it. Be funny if other cunts sent in about the same bud that was Glasgow based. Oh no. I brief I, see when he said that and I don't know if I'm just like choosing to remember it or something, but I feel like I remember but maybe I just remember other times of that happened. Aye, we've all had a Katie in our lives, mate. Aye. A woman that sweeps in, might be an old man, fucking tells you it's going to give you a hole in that. You need to we've take the chance. Katie and they're always called Katie and that. that would, that's not one woman, mate. That's multiple Katie's. Cindy. See, when an old pedo thinks about a lassie's name, it's always Katie, bro. Aye. Never know Katie. It's always something pure generic, mate. Because that's what I was saying. I remember, like, I'm sure it was, like, Katie Smith or something. Aye. It was pure, hey. Stacy's mum. Stacy's mum. At hotmail.com. Stacy's mum. Do you know what's funny as well about MSN? I remember this, because, like, do you remember getting MSN? Aye. Do, like, do you remember, the, like, actual making it? Like, in, in terms of, like, making your account in it? Do you uh, still? Because, uh, mm. mate, do you know what happened to me, right? There was, like, a last... See the, see the street I, I grew up in? There was a, a girl who stayed, like, two doors down for me, and she was, like, maybe two or three years older than me at the time. And, like, I'd go out and hang about with her and all that, and we'd cut about the streets, like, a wee guy. And uh, I remember her, say, pure talking about MSN, being like, do you have MSN? Oh, I'd be, I was like, aye. And she was like, oh, like, what's your addy? Remember that was uh, your addy? Your addy yeah. It was just an email address. Uh, <laughs> what's your addy? And I was like, fucking hate you, mate. What up there? And I was like, evanr619 at hotmail.com for Ray Mysterio. Bro. That is your, is that no, your email? Did you have that email? No. Did I you go and then make it? And then I had to go and make That's it. That's amazing you came up with that on the spot, mate. Aye, I had to, you're amazing you. I had to go and make it because I was like, what's cool? Ray Mysterio. Uh, obviously. It, see, when you're like, I don't even know what age, I was like 10 or something. Nothing's cool on Ray mate, Mysterio. I remember my I remember my email address I used. JamieBoyCFC1 I, at knew, you would, I you knew you'd be that guy, mate. JamieBoyCFC1, mate. It's such a long email. And that was my email for shit. Like, I get phone calls for like E and that and they're like, What's your email for your account? And I'm like, I don't know, Jamie. And they're like, no, we've got a Jamie boy CFC. I'm like, no, I've never been able to get into that for about 10 years. Aye. And it's just pure owner of my account, it's not. Aye, mad. Mate, I always wonder what's on that shit. And I always wonder, like, I know what I would love more than anything, and I need to wait till Donnie comes on this to tell you about his Bebo days, because you will be crying, mate, mm. honestly, like, what he's got to say about them. That's why I wanted him on this, but he's away up north with his fair maiden so oh. hope we'll enjoy us but day. um i what was i gonna say it, about bebo um what's i gonna say that? about what donicky would i say or something no it was about something else <laughs> fuck it was about making your bebo up maybe designing your bebo page mate how fucking sick was that mate, mate designing the bebo page was sick as hell could you change all the colors and uh, you could change everything the color the writing the background like it was it was a customizable page mate it was mate and what was your i don't i probably asked just before what was your tune it would change it was i'm sure it was soldier boy at one point and just changes that's weird that you said that, uh, changes that for a good or day. it would be a gary h diss i remember it was like <laughs> gary eh, <laughs> Austin, so. as i got a bit older i had I maybe had a wee bit of Gorillas or something in there. Aye, oh, try yeah. to be a bit edgy, <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> I'm like I'm 10 or something. Aye, but anyway, look, trips, we've got one more to do, but we're going to leave it for the Patreon because it's a bit naughty. It's I think. a bit raunchy. I think, anyway. But aye, oh. we need to go, trips. If you're not on the Patreon already, you get extended bits of the episode. We're going to chill, oh, chill geez. the fuck out. For, we're going to watch um, the gold medal for the synchronised swimming at the Tokyo 2020. Yes. We'll get that on. Yes. Uh, I think it's iTokyo. We fucking bash synchronised swimming on the Patreon, by the way. Patreon.com forward slash Riley's Gaff. Mainly videos about synchronised swimming, but mostly those other things. Goodbye. See you later. <laughs>